Baruch Hashem Shechayanu, we are here at the uh, very end of the Masechet Horayot, this beautiful Talmudic tractate that we have the privilege to study several times and we're looking forward to our big CU Masechet, the completion. And here we just have the springboard for um, the CU because knowing the celebration it's usually very uh, quick and noisy so we go a little further and explaining the very end of this beautiful Masechet. In general Masechet Horayod, this Talmudic tract dealing with erroneous act of Bet Din. We are human. We came from dust, we turned to dust and we're making mistakes. So this tract is dealing with erroneous act of the Bet Din and how to handle those. Sometimes, for example, the Bet Din instructed people to idol worship and they, they are wrong in terms to be a wrong ruling. So that's a huge part of the discussion of this Masechet, but many more. We learn, for example, the anointment of kings from here. Many traditions, like the simanim, the sign we have for the Rosh Hashanah on our table. Advice of the different issues, for example, olive oil for good uh, remembering. Um, the prohibition against looking at the deceased face, and many more. Is derivative. But one of the core discussions by the end of this Talmudic Masechet tractate is in Chot Kedimuyot. Who is before whom? For example, we have the concept of Kohen, Levi, and then Israel in many different things. For example, Torah reading, grace after meal, and more. We have a Kedimuyot, if something is frequent and something is not frequent, the frequent take precedent. It's again, it's from this Masechi. But let's zoom in close to the end, page 13b. Here, they dealing with something so important, which is Kvod Chachme Israel. Throughout our history, we all know why the second Beit HaMikdash, the second Holy Temple, destroyed because of causeless hatred and conflicts, we are commanded to give the highest level of kavod chachme Israel, the highest level of respect to our teachers, to our sages. Now, sometimes we need to have a hierarchy, meaning we need to know who and how it, in a level of gradation, who is the number one, two and more. So here is the text. They said to us, Tanur Abanan, the sages teach us, teach us in a Brayta, Kshehanasin Ichnas, Kol Ha'am Omdim, Ve'en Yoshvim, Ad Shomer Laim Shvu. President of the Jewish community, those days was a very large Jewish community and a tremendous um, honor and erudition. So when the Nasi, the head, walk in, everyone needs to show the proper respect and need to stand up for him. And as long as he's not uttered the word sit, they have to remain up, standing until he rule, shvu, please be seated. Kshe'abet dinichnas, the next level is the head of the rabbinic court, tremendous erudition, not only scholarship but personality. So the man in that caliber walk in osim lo shura achat mikan ve shura achat mikan. Those days they used to sit in the half a gore and half a cycle. So those who close to the entrance they need to stand up from one side the other side. 
עד שיישב במקומו, they need to wait and see the head, the אב בית דין, sit, and then everyone can see. כשחכם נכנס, when a great sage, Torah scholar, walk in, אחד עומד ואחד יושב עד שיישב במקומו. Those days they used to sit on the floor. And um, when the Chacham, when the great sage walk in, the one who's close, meaning in the proximity, the closest one, needs to stand up for his honor. And as long as the sage is up, he needs to stand up. When he sit, he can sit. Bnei Chachamim, the children of the good sages, Vetalmidei Chachamim, and the students, the Torah scholars of sages, בזמן שרבים צריכים להם מפסיעים על ראשי העם. He would differentiate between Torah scholar that he is a great learned person, but there is no need for others versus the one who involved in the need for the community. So if you have a Torah scholar that is also involved heavily with the community and they need him, so ostensibly appears like when he stand up, he's like stepping on people who sit on the floor. So we said, when it's a situation like that, that the, 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 the person needs to walk out and in, it's okay to do that because again, it's not just a scholar, it's also someone that they need him for the community. Then they said, בני תלמידי חכמים שמונים אביהם פרנס על הציבור. So the children of Torah scholar, when the father is in charge of the community, need, בזמן שיש להם דעת לשמוע, נכנסים ויושבים לפני אביהם ואחוריהם כלפי העם. So when they are capable to listen, observe the learning, so they answer, they sit where their uh, respected uh, scholar father and the back to the people, בזמן שאין להם לדעת לשמוע, נכנסים ויושבים לפני אביהם ופניהם כלפי העם. So again, it's all depend on the attention and the um, understanding and acceptance. But anyway, we um, need to understand that the honor of the father, that's the core of this ruling. רבי אלעזר בר רבי צדוק אומר, אף בבית המשתה עושים אותם סניפים. So because of the honor of the father, when they walk in the time of celebration, they put them at the honorary place next to the elder, not because of them, but because of the honor uh, of the father. Rashi explained that it's in a special location. But later the Meiri said that that's only when the father, the big scholar, was alive. Amar Amar. יצא לצורך נכנס ויושב במקומו, אמר רב פאפה לא אמרו אלא לקטנים אבל לגדולים, לא הבל למיב דק נשם יקר, אמר רב יהודה אמר רב, אולם ינגד את עצמו להשכים ולהרים כדי שלא יתרחק, אוקיי. ורסוס אמר רב האינא דחלשה עלמא אפילו לגדולים נמי. And the Gemara circumscribes this ruling and said רבי אלעזר בר רבי צדוק אומר אף בבית המשתה עושים אותם סניפים, אמר רבא בחיי אביהם ובפני אביהם. Okay, now, before we continue, we need to um, remember a very important um, concept that we discuss many times. Who are we to judge a giant righteous Torah scholars that lived about 1700 years ago? Obviously, we are quick to say things and judge things, but overall we should know that our um, capability of understanding is limited and we should not mix in by any means. But what we're going to do now is just study the literal text and obviously maybe in a future session we'll go to more mystical understanding of this text because it's kind of hard to take it just in the literal סטורי. אמר רבי יוחנן בימי רבן שמעון בן גמליאל, נשנית משנת זו, רבן שמעון בן גמליאל נשיא רבי מאיר חכם, רבי נתן אב בית דין. So it was a situation of uh, 
three giant leaders, Nasi, head of the rabbinic court, and the, and the sage. Rabbans, Shimon Gamliel, Hatama, Vukame, Kule, Alma, Mikame. When the Nasi, Rabban Shimon Gamliel, walk in, all stood up for his honor. Havu Ayle Rabbi Meir ben Atam. When the, the, wa, the, the sage and the head of the bed did walk in, same thing. Havu Kame Kulam Amikamayu. Everyone stood up for the honor. Amar Rabban Shimon Gamliel, O Ba'ole Meir Kera, Mendili Ledidu. We need to have a level of gradations for people, not for his personal honor, obviously, but in order for people to recognize that this is the Nasi, this is the highest, and this is high, but not as high as Nasi. Takina Matnita. So one time he put a ruling, a, de a decree, like an actment, and he said, people should stand up collectively for the president only. So that day, it turns out that the head of the court and the head of the, 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 the sage, they both are not there. The next day when they appear, they notice the people do not stand up for the honor the same as they used to. Amrei, Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Natan asked, how come, my high? Amru lehu, hachat akil, Rabbi Shimon Gamliel. The answer, they said, that was the ruling when you are absent by Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, who is the president, that people should stand up only for the president and not for anyone else. Amru lehu, Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Natan, anach acham ve'at av bedin et akil min dakil elidan. He said, wait a second, he didn't consult with us. And he made these rulings, and it's in a way uh, either humiliating or, or uh, people lose respect. Um, sometimes situation that people try to control the, or manipulate the head of the rabbinic court and the, the chacham. So we have to do something to um, to strengthen the honor of Tamidei Chachamim Ben Yodasen. Maina Avidle, what should we do now? So they came up with a very interesting idea. Neymalei Galei Uktsin, the Lake Lake. We know that there are rare tractates to study, but usually people don't study. We know we study usually Baba Metzia, we study Kiddushin, we study Brachot. Uktsim is one of those Masechtot that is very uncommon to study, and we assume that he, the president, is not so familiar. And since he didn't study it, so temporarily we'll be able to remove him from his honor job as a president, we'll be able to reinstate the ruling, and then we'll bring him back. So by this claim that he is not in the highest level of knowledge, we'll be able to take away his title, his honor, his job as a president. So at this time in between, one of us will be the president. Shma'inu Rabbi Yaakov ben Karshi. So that set up uh, clandestine deal or whatever you call it was heard by a sage named Rabbi Yaakov ben Karshi. So he said, Amar Dilma Chaz Shalom Atya Milta Lidei Kisufa. If we let them do that, there will be a great embarrassment for the head of the Jewish community, the Nasi, and I cannot stand idly and do nothing when I know that that was a set up for the president. Azar Yativ Achorei Ilitei de Rabban Shimon Ben Gabriel. So what did he do? He took this tractate Uktsin, 
and he went behind the place that Rabban Shimon Gabriel was sitting. Pashad Garas Betana, Garas Betana. He studied loud with all the depth. Again and again, he instructed Uktsin. So Rabban Shimon Gabriel heard that. And he said, What's going on? Why this guy, this Rabbi Yaakov Ben Karshi, standing here and shouting this rare Masechet Uktsin, why is he doing that? Why the Kama? Why is he doing this type of act? Dil Machas Veshalom Ika Beit Midrash Amidi. I suspected that some set up a surreptitious, clandestine deal was set up behind me. And it has to be connected to me knowing this tracted Uktsin. So he pay he, he pay attention to the teaching of that Rabbi Yaakov ben Karshi. Even he learned that day. Learn it well. The next day he goes to this big meeting. Challenge the president. They said, Let the president now give us overview and understand of this structured Uktsin. But here they have a huge surprise. Surprise, surprise. What happened? All of a sudden, the president, Rabban Jumbler, was able to fluently explain this Masechet. But Ardeu King, after he completed Amar Lehu, he said to them, Ilo gamrinan kasiftenan. If I didn't learn it in advance yesterday, you are ready to embarrass me in public. He put an order, Throw them out of the Beit HaMidrash. So what happened? You have these two giant Torah scholars, Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Natan. They're outside of Beit HaMidrash. People have questions and they need to communicate with them. Havukat vekushiyat habefikta, befitka veshadu atam da'ava miprik. Miprik. The law of a miprik. Kat vepirushet ke veshadu. So basically, for example, people have the questions. So they need to ask those great rabbis who are not allowed to enter in. They need to throw a, like a little piece of paper with the answers. Amar Lehu, they said to the sages, the president, Rabbi Yosei, Torah mi b'chutz v'am b'fni, it doesn't make sense for us. We should walk out and stay with them outside of Bed Midrash. If they don't come in, we have all of our questions and they're outside to answer us. It's ridiculous, it doesn't make sense. It's inappropriate, it's very incongruous to expect such a giant scholars to be outside while we are inside and when we have these pratigaments and, and quandaries and, and dilemmas, we need to have a proper answer and the only way to reconcile the differences and when you have a question of complication and juxtapositions and many more in the text we need these two great sages who are not allowed to enter. How that can be? It also denigrates the honor of Torah. Okay, if that's the case, we let them in. But we put a fine, a punishment. So from now on, because what they set up and planned to do, we will not give any reference with their direct name. How? So when they need to mention Rabbi Meir, they didn't mention his name. Instead, what they said, Acherim, other said. So some said it's because he was a student of the Acher, Elisha ben Avriya. But anyway, uh, they didn't refer, neither one of them. Either Rabbi Meir they call others, when they quote him in his Rabbi Natan, they said, there are those who said Yeshomri. Ach volu bechelmaihu. So, from heaven, Rabbi Meir and Natan saw a dream. And they dreamt, they heard a voice that told each of them, and both of them, 
same thing. Zilu paisu le Rabban Shimon Gren. Go and appease the president. Rabbi Natan Azal Rabbi Meir lo Azal. Rabbi Natan went ahead and tried to appease him. Rabbi Meir no. Amar eh. Divrei chalomot. Lo ma'alim velo moridim. He says, eh, dream, it's meaningless. כי עזר רבי נתן, אמר לך רבי שמעון בן גמליאל, והיא דאני לך כמרה דאבוה, דאבוך למה ואב בדין שמי נחמה מנשיא. היא בעצם רבי הוא אומר, לנשיא, the president needs to be a descendants from the tribe of Yehuda, of Judah. And isn't that enough for you to be the head of בדין? Why you, are you seeking honor or recognition? מה תנאה לרבי שמעון ורבי לרבי שמעון ברי? אחרים אומרים, אילו היה תמורה. פייג' 14, לא היה קרב. So that's a discussion in tracted תמורה, פייג' 60. In regards to a miscalculation, miscounting, you have this idea that when you give the animal title or when you um, bring an animal offering, you need to, to count them. If someone miscalculated, instead of 11, 10, 10, 9, So how exactly you treat that? So he said, אמר לו מי עלינו שמהם התרשותים ושמותם אנחנו מזכירים. So they refer the halacha. And they didn't mention the name. Now we know that how mer davar v'shem omro v'vi geula la'olam that one should strive to mention the credential and the reference from where he takes something. The, 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 it's a very important point for the, even the deceased to, be, um, to have the reference for what they teach. Uh, now all of a sudden you don't mention the name, but you mention what they teach. Says, okay, uh, if that's what you feel, you have the right to feel this way, but you should know that they are planning to take off The, the, uh, the honor of the presidency should be a descendant from the Mizera Ben David, from the tribe of, from, from David, and was set up to take it from, from, from them. Amar Le, Rabbi Shimon said to his father, come on, they said in Ecclesiastic chapter 9, come on, they are no longer among the living. So why bother? to punish them, they, they, they're already deceased. So even they did it for all kinds of reasons, jealousy, enviness, animosity, it's already gone. He said, based on what is written in Tehidim chapter 9, that unfortunately, even they are physically no longer among the living, their influence and their act still exist out there. This may apply if it was a successful act, but they are not successful in what they're planning to do. So why you need to, to do it? So, Hadar Adnele, Amru Mishum Rav Meiru Lohat Mura Lohav HaKarev. So from now on, they mentioned, but again, not in a full way. They said, Amru Mishmei Rabi Meir, they refer on behalf of Rabbi Meir, Amarav Afilu Rabbi De'an Vetana Avi, even Rabbi that he does a well-known, extremely a modest, humble individual. Nevertheless, Tana Amru Mishum Rabbi Meir, Amar Rabbi Meir Lo Amar. Meaning he's not always, let, not totally let go. We'll still have some hakpada, some unhappiness. Anyway, now the Gemara brings הנו הלכה, אמר רבי יוחנן, פלי גובר, רבי שמעון גמליאל ורבנן אחד אמר סיני אדיר עדיף ואחד אמר עוקר ערים אדיף. We have two type of sages. We have a sage that is a walking computer, he knows everything beautifully. You ask him הלכה, he tell you by heart, it's written in שולחן ערוך, chapter so and so, but When you ask him a sophisticated question that needs to have people, need to be shrewdness, so he doesn't have this capability of know and put it together. He doesn't have that capability. 
I'm just using an example. Let's say you go to someone who is even a great learner person and you ask him, is the Bach flower modern homeopathy? Is that okay or not okay? Is that a form of idol worshiping or not? And more. All kind of questions that you don't have even a response in regard to that. So, therefore, um, you have two types of leadership. You have someone who knows by heart all the quote on all quotation, but is a very structured and simple. You have someone who's a very shrewd and know how to speak in all the complications. Now, both of them come to the same conclusion. The only question is how they get there. Rav Yosef Sinai, Rabao Kerarim. Rav Yosef was an example of somebody Someone who's like Sinai, meaning his knowledge was so great that you can ask him in a, the Mishnah and the Talmud and Alacha and Agada and all these subjects, he knew it well and he knew all the quotations and everything is like uh, what they call modern day photographic memory. Rabbah, however, was the one who's an extremely shrewd um, palpelan, someone who's very sophisticated. Shalchule Taman, they send this very important question to the sages of Eretz Israel. And they ask, Ezraim Kodem, which one of these two better to take as a leader of the Jewish community? They answered, they said, Sinai is more important. Why? Because everyone needs flower. So we, we know that that obviously is an allegory. And they try to tell us in, uh, in that context that um, Sinai is someone who's in the computer knowledge. He has is, is, has which called the Basi Salacha, he has the the foundation of understanding. So therefore we should choose someone like that. However, Yosef Yosef was so humble and he forfeits his honor. He just let go, he didn't let um, um, the need of, uh, of control and power take over. So the Mepharshim, you see in the book called Be'er Sheva and others, let's say that he went to the Chaldeim. I'm not so sure how you translate it to modern day, but let's say a psychic or astrologist, whatever it is, and they told him, if you rule, it will be just two years. So what they do instead, Malach Rabbi Yisrael Betar Yosef. So he let Rabba be in the head, use the word king, but it means to be the head for 22 years. And then Rabbi Yosef took over, but it was only for two years, which means if he takes it all, originally, he will live two years. And in that sense, it's safe because he was humble and let go and forfeit his honor. Um, uh, for another uh, uh, 22 years. There's another act of being super modest and humble. All those years that Rabbah took over and rules, Rabbi Yosef did not use any public money or any public um, um, estate for his own need. So, for example, those days they used to come and, and pull out blood. So, in our language, what they do, he used to stand in line like everyone else, never wants to get a recognition honor uh, just because of his knowledge or his status. He let Rabbah be in charge and he behaved like everyone else. Abai Rabbi Rabbah Barmatnei Havuyat Bei. It was great rabbis that study. They are all very, very smart, but they need someone who overrule or the, be the head. So they debate what should do. Amre called Amar Milta, Vilomi Prich Laberisha. Anyone who asks a question and will not have a solution, he will be the head. He will be the head of all of us. So Tosfor Rosh explained that because they are all wise, and it's very hard to determine who. So they, therefore they said, whoever will say something and will not find a, um, a point of refutation, that will be the head. So Abayah was the one whose 
able to not only answer but also ask and uh, from time to time they, he was able to um, um, be involved even um, with the, those questions that no one else were able to answer and those um, um, challenges that he posed that others cannot reconcile. So Abaye noticed that either from heaven they appointed him for greatness or the way that the rabbis explain to us that gets to his head or his concern that it may happen. Nachmani Patach um, So he said to him, Nachmani, come and speak. So Nachmani had this few explanations. One Kiddushin said that Abaye was a orphan. His uh, father passed away while his mother was pregnant. And when the mother delivered him, she passed away. So he was raised by his uncle, Rav Nachman. And therefore, they call him Amar Le Nachmani Patach Vama. So the Marim Gitin 31b elaborates and tells us that he wants to be raised and grow up among the sages. And because he was still a student of Rav Nachman, they call him Nachmani. Patach Vama. So if you try to analyze it, there is a pedagogical um, concept here. When it's all said and done, the obvious goal is to have the student understand as we learn in Avot, Moshe received the Torah from Sinai, not for himself. Um Sarah and have the capability to transmit the Torah to the next generation. So we have a scholar, a great teacher, but he's excellent in acrobatical, sophisticated, shrewd way of teaching versus someone who's extremely knowledgeable but not so familiar of, of sophistications. What do you do? You need a good teacher for the students. You need people to follow and understand. So even the two come to the same conclusions, but which one you take? So here you see a fascinating point. I think here you see a crossroad or reconciliation by understanding the path that I believe Rashi comes and Tosfot Harosh. It should not be called a uh, disputation, it should be a hashlama, a point of uh, reconciliation or connection between the two. Rashi tells us, and you see it in the Gemara in Yivamot, we study, that the question raised, whom do you need to have as, let's say, the head of Sanhedrin, head of Bet Din? What's the issue? Obviously, you need to have a God-fearing person and Torah scholar. But the person who is in charge of Bet Din suffer constantly from individual who try to trip him take advantage of him or try to put him in a position that um, he will fall in that trap. And unfortunately, there are dishonest individuals that come to court, they come to uh, rabbinic court and try to fool the judges. So you need to have someone who's very shrewd and sophisticated and knowledge and very um, uh, high um, sophisticated mindset that you cannot deceive him, that you cannot fool him. And that sense, Rav Zera, Kharifu Makshe, that is his capability to be very full of spicy and full of knowledge. Rabbi Matna was obviously tremendous to us scholar and God-fearing person, but Tosfot Rosh said, meaning here is a, in a way a different situation. They are looking for the head of Rabbinic Academy, the Rosh Hashiva. 
When you need a Rosh Hashiva, you need uh, someone who madrich talmidim, who teaching the disciples, the students, and deliver their uh, learning. So by being palpelan, by being full of spices, is not helping the students because they get too high, they cannot, lo yicholim la'amod l'sof da'ato, they cannot focus and fully understand him, and therefore it's hard to follow him. So in that sense, we can combine Rashi into Tosfot Rosh by saying the reason the Gemara left it in Teiko, it's not really a unresolved question. Even Teiko, we said Tishbi Etaret Kushiot Ve'Abayot, but it's basically the question is what exactly you are looking for and what exactly the needs, and therefore you can have two giant scholars for two different needs. And I humbly think that that's what the meaning. Of the text that used the word teiko, tishbi etaretz kushiot ve'abayot. The Masechet is going to complete his day. Trusting for Ayot, for Ayot, for Ayot is one of the very important Masechet because it's dealing with the erroneous act of the Beit Din. Unfortunately, we are human, and sometimes we are making mistakes. And therefore, if the bad deal misled people and give them the impression that things are okay and they are healthy, therefore they need to have some type of um, either offering or other form of confession in order to rectify it. So trace the situation if the bad deal rules that someone can idol worship and it turns out that they are wrong. So therefore, we need to do something in order to rectify and that's the purpose of this Masechet. The end, dealing with the level of decorum. Again, we are in the generation that people not always give the proper kavod, the proper respect to the family. And therefore, the end of the Masechet dealing with a different level of, of respect. Tanur Abanan, Shal Asim, Ichnas, Kol Ha'am Omdim, Ve'en Yoshvim, Ma'chonar La'en Yoshvu, Shvu. Meaning when the president walk in, in those days, obviously it was a large Jewish communities and they need to know how to treat the head. So in walking, everybody need to stand up for him. When the head of the rabbinic court walk in, they sit in a half cycle. So those who close to the entrance need to um, stand up for him. Shechacham nichnas, different category, different level of gradation. When the scholar walk in, so in those days they used to sit on the floor. So therefore, echad omed veechad yoshev. So those who are close to him need to stand up for him. Ad sheyeshev b'mkomo. And then they go on. They chachamim with them. They chachamim with them. They chachamim with them. They chachamim with them. Again, because there are people who sit uh, on the floor and it's appear like they're standing a couple of them. Then, go on to um, speak about different level of gradation. When we study Gemara, we should always be careful the way we understand certain things, because um, who are we to speak about those giant Tamil Chachamim that live uh, in those days? They are only great righteous and great tzaddikim, but here is a story that obviously we can derive a lot from that. Amara B'yokharan B'kei Chabad Shibon Gabriel Mishnet Mishnah Zor. Rabban Gam Shimon Gamliel Nasi, Rabbi Meir Chacham, and Rabbi Natan, Av Bet Ayin. So Rabban Shimon Gamliel was the president, and the other two was in a very high uh, level. One is was the Chacham, and one is the head of the Bet Din. We have Rabban Shimon Gamliel Hatam, Abu Kaim Mekule Alma Nikamai. We have Abu Ayla Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Natan, Abu Kaim Mekule Alma Nikamai. So everyone will stand up for all of them. Amar Rabban Shimon Gamliel, Rabbi Ayla Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Heikera Ben Dili Le Dibur. So if everybody stands up for everyone, therefore people don't understand that when it's come to hierarchies, there are different levels of um, kavod. Therefore he ruled that they need to stand up only for the nasi. So when they came in, they realized that they not stand for them, and they try to somehow um, embarrass him. How? They planning to ask a question in a called Uktsi, which is a um, rare in a way for people to study. We mostly study Baba Metziah and Kiddushin. We don't study those Masechtot. And it was uh, almost there, but one of the Chachamim, Rabbi Yaakov and Karshi, he informed him, he studied out loud behind him the day before, 
And that way, Rabban Shimon Gamliel was not embarrassed, but he was obviously um, unhappy with the, their plan. And therefore, Pakid Vapikin in Beit Midrasha, he ordered to have them out of the Beit Midrash. So it was a very awkward situation. We probably need to ask questions, and they are outside, and they are basically back and forth where people were asked. So they complained, they said to Rabban Shimon Gamliel, we need them here, so he let them in, but he said, Nikli Simhu, Dilonem Gush Ma'ata Mishmayu. So from now on, instead of mentioning the name, Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Natan, we mention just some said, Rabbi Meir, Achedim, Rabbi Natan, Yeshomrim. Instead of saying Rabbi Meir, some said it was a, a student of Elisha Ben Abuya, but anyway, they used Achedim, they refer indirectly to his name, and Rabbi Natan, they said, Yeshomrim, some said, and that go on for a long time, Eventually, after they uh, no longer among the living, it was a, uh, a situation that the children asked, what should we do now? Because on one hand, they, it was embarrassment. On the other hand, we don't carry it forever. And therefore, it was a discussion. Um, one said, Amarli Rabban Shimon Le'avid, Gam Avatam, Gam Sinatam, Gam Minatam, Kvar Avada. They are no longer here, so why would not mention the name? was back and forth, and eventually he said, Amar Abi Meir lo Amar. So he referred to him, but indirectly. The conclusion of this uh, uh, beautiful Masechet is in the uh, two discussion over whom should we take as a Rosh Hashiva, as the head of the community. Amar Abi Yochanan, Pligu Bar, Rabban Shimon, Gamliel, Rabbanan, Chad Amar, Sinai Adif, Vechad Amar, Oker Arim Adif. So we have a situation, we need to answer questions, and we need to know if we need a walking computer, someone who we can ask and he can refer to us to all of our questions, or we need someone who is very sophisticated and know how to, um, he's full of scoop, right? He's full of spicy, so he know how to ask. Both of them come to the same conclusions. So it was a situation, Rab Yosef Sinai, Rabba or Kedarim. It was Rab Yosef who was a tremendous scholar, Rabba, however, was the one who was very sophisticated and shrewd in answering. Shalul le Taman, he sent to Eretz Israel, Eze Mehen Adib, which one of them we should take? Shalchul Ha'em Sinai Adib, the Marmara called Tzichim Lemarei Chitaya. The answer, they said that we need someone who know all the sources well, so you have the Basis HaAlacha, you have the source of all the Halachot, and therefore we should go by him. However, of Afilu Akhil Akabir of Yosef Alei, uh, Yosef was, was a patron, was a nav, was a humble, and he, in, his, in an act of humbleness, he um, forfeit uh, his honor to Rabbah. Malach Rabbah is in the French name, but Adar Malach Rabbah Yosef. Rabbah was 22 years the head of the Shiva of Yosef, only then took over. Some said, in the book of Der Sheva, he explained that it was because he went to Kalbiyim. Kalbiyim is a modern day, you call it astrology, or so whatever, then. Uh, they told him that whoever is taking the honor will live for two years. So because he was Batran, he was humble, he basically gained another 22 years of his life. But anyway, the whole Shanei the Malach Rabbah, but Yosef Afilu Uvalal Beitei Lo Khalif. So he never wants Rabbi Yosef to get the honor to get people to do things for him. So therefore, even if he needs to go to the doctor, he will stand in line. He didn't let people serve him at home. But anyway, the conclusion is Abayi Verab of Rabbi Zerah Verab of Matna Abu Yatvei, Verab of Tzrich Ereishei, Amrei Kol Damar Mintalach, Velo Ma'aprich La Reisha, Dikul Ha'aprich, Verabayi Lo Ha'aprich. So they have a discussion, all of four of them are very smart, but they need to find someone who will be the head. So it was Abayi, the only one who was able to answer the questions. So Rabba, he noticed that Abaye either go in a negative or positive, either he was a little bit happy with himself, or the opposite way, that he was uh, humble, and um, he called him Marley Nachmani Patach Ve'ima. Nachmani, it's because the Gemara in uh, Kiddushin explained that Abaye was an orphan from very early age. He lost his father when the mother was pregnant, and then when the mother delivered uh, him, she passed away, so he was raised by um, another great scholar whose name is Rav Nachman. So because of that, they called him Nachman, Nach Nachmani. Rashi, however, in chapter 18, page uh, 31b, said that it's the opposite. It's, it's an act of honor by saying that he is still a student of Patach Ba'amah. We're back to the question, whom should we take as the head? 
רבי זרע חריף, מה כשרבא בר בר נתנא מתון ומסיק מים? So the question is, whom should we take? Should we take רבי זרע, who is, as we said, spicy, sophisticated, no hope, the question, and can respond to any problem, it's called in the Hebrew פלפלן, or רבא בר בר נתנא, who is מתון, who is calm, and מסיק, taking time, but both of them are great scholars. So the Gemara left it in take, the take simply speaking, is Tishbi, the Retz, Kushiyot, Bari, Bariyot. But there is a different view between Tosfot Rosh and Rashi to understand this. According to Rashi, who is sitting in Tzmar and Yavamot and also in Sardin, they explain that the answer is for both. Rabbi Zerira, if you need someone to be the head of some dream, and therefore there are people who try to fool him, try to trick him in all kinds of different ways, so therefore you need someone who's very shrewd and sophisticated to catch that. However, if you need Rosh Hashiva, so Tosfot Rosh said, Yavandi Yitzrich Le'alma Lechad Minayim, if you need a Rosh Hashiva, students have a very hard time to follow someone who is a very palpelan, who is very sophisticated, they need to have a very clear structure of understanding. So therefore, they will not be able to get the soft data to understand where it's coming from. So that's the reason why they say take off, because based on Tosfot Rosh and Rashi, it's both right. Meaning, Rabbi Zera, if you need the head of Sanadrin, you should take someone like Rabbi Zera, who is Farid, Makshev. If you need someone to be the Rosh Hashiva, you should take someone Matun Masi. Adam Lachuel Mashvia, Peslik, Ramasev, Toriot, everyone who was born, please join me and be part of the Siyum, and then you can go ahead and eat. Adam Lachuel Mashvia, Peslik, Ramasev, Toriot, everyone who was born, please join me and be part of the Siyum, and then you can go ahead and eat. Adam Lachuel Mashvia, Peslik, Ramasev, Toriot, everyone who was born, please join me and be part of the Siyum, and then you can go ahead and eat. Adam Lachuel Mashvia, Peslik, Ramasev, Toriot, everyone who was born, please join me and be part of the Siyum, and then you אדם לך מסר את הרוב בסדר נזיקים, ואדם 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 אני לא בפה פרה, אני לא בפה רב נחמן, בפה פרה רחי, בפה פרה רבן, 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 בפה עומדים אנחנו לפניך על העניין ולהפיל ולשם את החלקנו מיושבי את המדרש ולשם את החלקנו מיושבי קרנות שאנו משכימים והם משכימים ואנו משכימים דברי תורה והם משכימים דברים מתירים אין לנו לסטיין מה זה דעת מין We are wake up in the morning to study to us We wake up to watch the news and the sports So it's a different result אנו עמלים והם עמלים ואנו עמלים מקבלים שכר ואנו עמלים ואנו מקבלים שכר We are ever labor so even we seek in the shield and we don't understand anything you still get the reward for that However, the others in the sales business, they tell you only if you make a sale, you make some cut. So therefore, if you, you waste your time in watching news and sports, <laughs> then there's no reward for that. Anu ratzim vem ratzim, anu ratzim l'chel al-abba, vem ratzim l'ver shachat, shenemar v'ta lo'im t'rodem l'ver shachat, v'ashed amin 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 l'ver וזכור כל התנאים והמוראים ותלמידי חצוי יעמוד לי ולזרים של אדמות של תורה מקרים ולזרים 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 לעולם ולתקן בי להתהלך לך, תלכה אותה, תשפוכה, תשפוכה, תשפוך לך, תשמור עליך והא כי צוטה היא תסריטך כביר ולמך ולסיבו את השירות חיים אורך ימיד לימינה בשמאל העושר לכבוד אדוני העוז ולעמוד ייתן ויתגדל ויתגדל שמי רבה אמן
Amen. 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 Amen.